Hey everyone, Amir here and uh, welcome to this video in which we are going to build the runtime manager sheet in Google Sheet for our platform APIs and read out all the deployed or undeployed APIs in runtime manager. So let's go directly into our Google Sheet. And um, in our last video, we have built the API manager and I identified in the last video that um, we had the environments, which actually was for the design center. So I have renamed it once it's, it's uh, environment for design center. And I've created a new sheet for environment for runtimes, which I have read out the environments, which are actually valid for the runtime. And this is what we are going to use also for the runtime manager. But in order to show you what resource I'm using here to retrieve the environment for the runtime manager, in the Postman collection pack, you can go to API manager, API administration, and you will find here get all environment for uh, an organization. And when you hit send and you are logged in, it will retrieve all the different environments you are using currently uh, for your deployments. And this is basically the resource I have used to build my environment for the runtime manager. And this is being used in the API manager itself, as well as in the new sheet, which we are going to create now for the runtime manager. So let's do that, runtime manager. And as usual, we will have our typical um, typical attributes we are going to read out. Let's go into the Postman collection pack and take a look on those attributes. So herefore, I am in the management center and need to go to the runtime manager. In the runtime manager under applications, I will find a request called get applications. And in get applications, I will retrieve all the deployed and undeployed APIs um, in my uh, AnyPoint platform, and I can read out the details from here. So let me quickly prepare the sheet for the attributes I would like to read out, and then we are going into the read out uh, part. These are the attributes I'm planning to read out. You can see the ID, target, artifact name, file name, mule version, last reported status domain and additionally i would like to retrieve per application uh, some additional information which are not in the runtime resource so you can see the runtime manager provides me the runtime um, get application a resource provides me the information about the application itself but not really about a single deployment uh, on what um, memory it is using, what is the CPU. So here we will combine two resources. So I will need to use additionally, beside the applications, I need to use the Cloud Hub uh, folder and get single application info request. And this is uh, parameterized, so you need to set it to one of those uh, values you are going to retrieve. And here, basically, you find this information about the workers, the size, the CPU, and the memory, which we are going to read out here as well. So now uh, let's read the runtime uh, manager applications. One more thing which you need to consider, and this is something which is part of this resource, you need to provide two additional parameters, which belongs to the headers. Yeah, so you can see I. I'm passing to retrieve all the application, I'm passing the um, headers for organization ID and the environment ID. This is important, otherwise I'm not going to retrieve any information. And uh, same thing I need to do for the application details. Yeah? So as we were using so far our fetch JSON, this time we are going to use fetch JSON with header similar to the one we were using before, but it has two additional input parameters for organization ID and environment ID, which will provide us the header capabilities. So let's take a look how this would look like. So again, we start with if error, and then we say it's the fetch JSON with header. 
uh, we have the URL which is in the credentials sheet A2. Um, here I concatenate with the remaining path from runtime manager applications. Yeah, so this one. Um, put it in. This is fine. And now the next parameter, let me check here, is the token, which is again on the credentials list. Credentials sheet d2 it's also fine and now i have a new parameter which is org id and the org id is stored in the user information so user information and it was b5 if i'm not mistaken let's quickly check here it's b5 this is fine and beside b5 we have then the XPath, which is then super simple, then XPath would be here for data, row number, ID. Yeah, so row is zero. So let's say here we have the data slash the row number we get from the index table. So it's A2. And we say slash ID, that's it. And here, if there is an arrow, show nothing. So let's wait let me maybe get rid of this one for the time being it says error cannot find cannot read property split of undefined let me check sorry i forgot here to add the environment so environment the new sheet which I created runtime and here I need to read this one which will be B2 so let's read it here with B2 and that would be it let me put a dollar everywhere here dollar here dollar here as well here copy everything let's see Loading, yeah, and here we get the value. So now we can uh, use it basically with if error. Like this, and we would pro probably have everything now. Yes, so let me finish this up to the domain and then we will see how we are going to read the remaining tree. This is how it would look like. Um, and now we have another resource which we want to request information from. And we need to feed in the resource information using the IDs we have already fetched out. So the way to do it is let's copy the request and change first of all the URL. So we need to go to the application details here, Cloud Hub. So this would be then our URL. And after application, we need to provide the ID, which in our case here is B2. Yeah. And the rest should be fine, except the result, which we are going to expect here. And in the result, we need to read basically the workers type, and then the rest. So we need to say here, this will be workers type, what else? We have the weight. Yeah, here, this one is the weight. Let's copy it, see if this is working. No, it's not working, something is wrong. Formula parse error. So what is wrong here? We have, ah, here we are missing the concatenation and now we have it so this would be fine here we are going to read the cpu cpu what happened let's do it again cpu and the concatenation here copy enter we receive the number of cores. 
And finally, we receive the memory, which is also listed here. It is the memory. In Postman, it says also memory type. Memory, we have to type. Memory and there is a bracket which need to be removed. Again, not correct. We need to close it properly like this. And hopefully like this. So yeah, and this way we can retrieve all the informations we want to retrieve from um, Cloud Hub uh, in regards to the runtime manager and even link resources of Postman Collection Pack, which first of all provides us the overview of all uh, deployed APIs. And if I want to retrieve additional information, I can make use of the ID, which I already have documented in my Google Sheet and get additional application information. Um, with the Cloud Hub resources. And in this way, I can simply build this uh, runtime manager sheet and um, use it for my documentation or administrative purposes. So that was it, uh, the quick uh, tutorial guide for the Google Sheet and platform APIs. Um, we will be extending this uh, further and sharing with you, with you more updates, use cases which are valid and um, yeah, stay tuned. Um, we will see us soon. Thank you.